I'm here with my awesome team, Han Bing and Bing, and we are here to talk about the SharePoint Pages API. The modern SharePoint Pages have been very instrumental in the growth of modern SharePoint experiences and portals in the UX. So we, we've been fielding asks for having a decent uh, API, graph API endpoint, and it's come to fruition right now, and we're super excited to, for the first time ever, have a demo of this functioning API. We just published a blog post that announced this of the functionality in the API. We're hoping to roll out the beta by end of November. And then this all you'll see a few recorded uh, demo videos coming hot straight from my Hanbing developers uh, uh, dev box. And this is proof of all the concepts that we are able to show today. So quick review, it's a new graph API to get, create, and manage SharePoint uh, pages and news posts. It, it's going to replace the existing beta API. And some of you might be familiar with that. Since that beta has been very old, we have a newer data model behind the new API, which will be rolling out to GA. And uh, there'll be a, a it'll break the existing API experience. But uh, we hope to keep improving on the new API and we'll have, we have a, a rich, exciting roadmap for these features. What's in scope? You can get a page. You can get a list of pages, you can create a page or a news post, you can delete a page, and these are all of the core operations, the CRUD operations that will be available in beta by end of November. Um, just to call out before you all ask, what's not in scope is editing an existing page, which is the tactical adding a web file or adding a section to a specific part of a page that's not supported. News link creation is supported. Of course, there might be a few more things that are not supported, but these are the obvious things that we've already fielded as questions, so we just want to call it out. And now we go into our demo time. So the first, the scenario here is Han Bing, my developer, is, uh, is running the code on her dev box and working on a local dev box tenant. The scenario is around first getting the page content uh, of a specific page. Let's listen. First, let's screw down the page on the right side to have an overview. When you want to fetch page data, you can call get method on this endpoint, which would return information of a SharePoint page. Great. Let's expand it to have a better look. Here is the page name, the thumbnail image, the page title, training and resources. I'd like to call out the page layout property, which is an article here. But if this page is a home page, it should be a home string. Additionally, there is a property called promotion kind. Here the page is a normal page, but when the page is a news post, the value here could be news post. Scrolling down, we can see the created and updated information. What's more, we can also see the publishing state. We also have a property called title area, refers to the data in title region. In order to access page data content, we can add a query called expanded canvas layout and call this endpoint. The page content storage in the property called canvas layout. Here we get it. However, the window is too small for us to take a look. Let's full screen this tab. OK, great. There are pro two properties nested in the canvas layout. One is horizontal sections, the other is vertical section. Let's take a look into the vertical section first. Vertical section refer to the vertical section on the right of the page. You can see there are a list of the parts. The first one is a countdown timer, as you can see here. The second one is an event web part, while the third one and also the last one is the Twitter web part. Let's back to the page. Yeah, we can see here the first one is countdown timer, second one events, and the last one Twitter web parts. I'd like to call out there are an additional property called emphasis on the vertical section, which refers to the background of this section. Similar. The data structure in horizontal sections are pretty similar. Therefore, with this API, it's easy for us to get page content from any SharePoint pages. All right, that was the first demo showing how you can get the page content given a specific page. I'm the sorry. second demo is about copying a page. On the right side is the target page we want to copy. Call a get method on this endpoint, 
which would return information of this page, including page content and page metadata. Here we get the response. Expand it to have a better view. Check the title and name to confirm this is our target page. Instead of going through all of the nested data, you can simply copy the whole data and paste it as a payload of request. When you want to create a new page, call post method on slash pages endpoint. Don't forget to rename the page. Here, I will rename it as about us dash two. Wait for a few seconds. Great, the page is successfully created. Let's see how the page looks like. I will drag this tab to the left of the window. Lovely. So here are the two pages. The left one is the one we just created using the API, and the right one is the original one. Screw down to have a comparison. We can see the two pages content are exactly the same. With this feature, it's easy to create a new page with only a few API calls. The most straightforward way is to start from an existing page. Maybe you noticed that there is a post news button on the right top of the page. That's because this page is a news post, but it isn't published yet. Back to the home page, the news web part now only has the about us page, but the page we just created using the pages API is not there. To make this page public, you can simply call the publish endpoint with the post method. Back to the page and refresh it. We can now see on the top of the page, the status is posted. Refresh the home page. Our new news post should be also shown up in the news web part. And that was the scenario of uh, creating a page where you initially have the basic page created on the web. You get the page and then make all modifications to the page in terms of title and text content. You recreate the page. You can also publish the page as a news post and see that news post roll up in the news, news web part. So the last demo is a scenario of uh, maintenance where you get the list of pages and delete. Here's a demo about deleting page from a site. First, I'm going to cut this endpoint to list all pages on the site. From the right side, we can see there are uh, six pages. The default returning structure has too many properties, which are not clear for us to find some information. Therefore, I'm going to add a query to select only the name and ID from the result. Let me type it, add a query to select ID and name. Here we get it. We can find the page named about us dash two. This is a page I created in the last scenario. So I'm going to copy, copy the page ID and paste here, and I will use a delete method on this page to delete it. And wait for a few seconds. Great. We have a status code 204. And let's refresh the page to see, great, the page is gone. So those were the three quick demos to show, to talk about the scenarios that we are supporting. We'd love to hear from you all about what other scenarios you have in mind, you know, in bringing together the various basic CRUD operations. Um, I, the, as we talked about in the demo, the cre ideal creation flow is to make a page and ha use it as a base to make copies of the page. Another scenario is where you get the list of pages and you can programmatically have a governance situation where you, you know, based on any one of the metadata, you can filter out the pages and delete them or archive them in a different way. So uh, th those are some of the scenarios we're imagining. We'd love to hear from you as well. Uh, as I mentioned, beta release is end of November. We'd love to have you all sign up for the beta release testing. Uh, of course, beta is open to everyone, but once you sign up on the farm, I'm going to paste the link in the chat window here. Um, it'd be great to have a one-on-one -on -one interaction. 
and the AKMS Pages API is a quick short link to the blog post and a place to constantly keep track of uh, what features are being rolled out in our Pages API. That's it for from me today. Uh, I haven't kept up with the API conversations. Anything else, Vesa, that you want me to address? Yeah, before we go forward, I think it's good to elaborate that because there was a discussion related on what is the is the objective to, to replace the BMP Pages API, which is widely being used by this work, and, and is this going to support all of those different scenarios? And do you want me to answer or do you want to answer? Either way. Uh, you, you know enough, you should go. Your voice is more uh, <laughs> clairvoyant okay. than mine. <laughs> Thank you, DC. So there's a lot of learning from the PMP Pages API, which has existed for a while, and now we're adapting a lot of those uh, learnings directly to provide the Microsoft Graph uh, Pages API. Ultimately, objective is to support uh, all of the different same scenarios as we support natively within a UX or within the PMP Pages API within a Graph API. Now, let's face it, this will be a journey. Uh, the beta version will not be as fully complete and with all of the features as we have within the pages uh, PMP API side as this is rolling out to beta. But based on the feedback, based on the input, uh, we'll add new capabilities within a Graph API for sure. Op ultimate objective, however, just to repeat, is to make sure that the Graph API for SharePoint pages is the API which has all of the native capabilities and you don't need to know, use anything else. Good way of saying that, DC. Absolutely. I was glad to hear it in your words. <laughs> Thanks, DC. I didn't want to promise anything from your side on, the, on this, no, but, no, no. but uh, yes. that's good. Yes. Yeah, definitely cool. a journey. We're starting, we're committing to a, a V1.0 ro rollout very soon, and we'll keep constantly iterating on the API and get to uh, parity and even more. Yeah, excellent. Thanks, DC, on that one. Mm -hmm.